affords me the opportunity to do in class are, are you know, relatively fun things and real kinds of applications. So yesterday's class was on um, spline interpolation. So I think we can take it. This, has anyone, if it, ESPN, you know, sports science is something that, that happens. And so, and so this is something that happened in the recent... We hit the slopes with WinRx Big Air competitor, 17-year-old Sage Cox. So, you know, here in New Hampshire, snowboarding's kind of Sage Cox. relevant uh, to our students. And I'd like to bring relevant things we and modeling into the class. Head to toe with foot pressure sensors, accelerometers, and gyroscopes <laughs> to collect unprecedented data. And that's the stuff we do in class. You know, we show that YouTube video, and there's some, and so figure out, you know, where, where do you have to get these data points from? You know, we can look, listen to the video, and there's enough hints in the video so we can get enough data from the video to do the modeling that we want to do. And, um, and so it's just like in the real world. This is an unknown problem. It's not an exercise out of the textbook that there's an answer in the back of the book. Um, they have to come up with a model in class, working in small teams, doing this kind of work. And they get very excited about that. If you watched, if you paid attention to the Super Bowl, you may have seen this. This is one of those million dollar commercials. <laughs> one of the things I point out that all the, all, the, all the animation that's done here is done with lots and lots of interpolation going on three dimensionally. Um, this is all computer um, generated images that can only be done if you know the underlying mathematics. Um, you know, at least the developers know. <laughs> Okay, so, that, so, so what they did in class yesterday um, is they reproduced this curve cool. using spline interpolating polynomials, working in small project teams. The traditional methods work, but only for too few students, not exactly all the kinds of students that we get here at King State College. We have um, the millennial students appeal to this kind of stuff more than the kinds of traditional methods. Um, there's good reason for, for doing that. It does appeal to varied learning styles. Those who can read or those who want to be lectured to have the opportunity to do that you know, because of the um, the YouTube videos that are available. Um, and, but what it really does is allow us to do the higher learning, higher order learning activities in the classroom. You know, when you apply the learning that you have, that's the kind of thing we want students to be able to leave here with, not are you able to regurgitate my lecture. Um, and that's what I have to offer. <laughs> I think you get a